Welcome back, episode three. Now we're going to do account creation because you got to be able to sign into the account, right? Um, first off, we started by making the repack, which starts the server. And then we got into the client. We got the client up and running. Now it's time to create an account so you can sign in and make sure you did the, the client correctly. Make sure you compiled it correctly. We're about to find out if you did or not because I thought I, I messed it up, but I didn't. Anyways, now we're going to start the server. Remember back in episode one when we put the server together and we started it? Well, we're going to start it again. So we're going to come here and we're going to click start server. And if you remember this, you got to press one. That goes to this and it's the vanilla. So next we have to press two and this will start the server going. And it takes a couple seconds to fire up, but you know, it gets it done. It should be done any second now. And poof. Poof. Come on. You can do it. There it goes. Okay. So it's about to start. Here comes the ding. There it is, and it took, how long did it take? 31 seconds to start, not bad. All right, so now we gotta create an account. So we need this page open over here. We need this page over and over here. And this is the sign-in, where, where you first start, and you got your vanilla. What we're gonna do is come down to number three. It says create account, create account, and it's number three. Let's press three, enter. Now, it says vanilla. Start the server. We did that. Open Mangos EXE window, which is this window that always spams. Um, it's the one that says, wow, SPP server plus client, SPP P trilogy, SPP version two, SPP server, binaries, vanilla, bind bin 64. And then the last one says Mangos EXE. Yeah, it's the very end of the sentence. <laughs> but there it is, the Mangos Mangos de exe window, which we did, and use the following command: the account create name password. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this by using your mouse and clicking on it, and you're going to hold down Control and press C for Control Copy. And you can't just type inside here because if you try to type, eventually the next bot's going to stop you from doing what you need to do, and you never be able to type in. So you have to copy paste press enter fast and i'm gonna show you how to do that first you go to google you control paste that thing i told you to copy and this is the account create well we need the name of the account my name today is going for the account is gonna be paladin i don't know i just take them make it highlight and then the password is going to be one two three four five and that's gonna be the password. So I'm gonna take that and make sure I have it there. Control copy and bringing up this again, we're gonna be on this side, not this side, but this side and we're gonna control paste enter. So you're gonna hit control V enter. And I'll do it again cause it didn't. Okay, there says account created paladin password account created paladin now okay we're not done we'll come back over here and after we do that to give gm rights this is so that way whatever account you're in you are the pretty much the game master which is gm game master rights so now you're giving yourself game master code rights you might not know what that is if you never played on a private server yourself but a private server you basically get to write commands in like you can write dot damage 999 and you can one shot anything the entire you name it you can kill it you can give yourself gold you can level yourself up you can level yourself down you can teleport all over that's basically what you're doing giving yourself those rights you can complete quests that that you don't feel like doing or you can't finish them because they're bugged so you're giving yourself these rights for 
these GM rights in case, you know, you need for some reason to fix the server somehow, you give yourself these rights and that's what we're gonna do. So let's go to account set GM3, control copy back to Google, because we're not actually Googling anything, we're just using Google bar to paste somewhere. And that name was Paladin, right? Because that was our account. So control copy back to these two here and then account set pay on GM. It didn't do it there. Your security level has uh, of account Paladin has been set to three. Basically, now you're a general manager. So if you need to level your character up, level it down, you can do that. So now to test to make sure it worked, we go to the game. And if you remember, we put the game right here, there, and I told you to click here. And then the game starts up, which is this is the client. And three, two, one, here you go. So we write Paladin. One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't matter. You can, yep, for some reason, didn't write the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five. And here we are, vanilla round. We are now on our server. We're now able to play and create a character. So we'll start with this guy here. We'll call him Tank. Excuse me. All right. And we'll log him in. And there we go. We have a character. We can log in and see the beautiful world of Azeroth. I'm sure you on your time can see that. Here you go. We do not need display tips because I'm not dumb. Let's go to interface options, action bars. Let's bring up some action bars. Let's, uh, let's actually... Show, not lock them. Okay, loot. And where's that annoying one that I always forget? Instant quest, yeah. So there we go. And the game is ready to go. If you take a look around, you will see some bots actually already starting to compile in the game. There's one right there. And they're all through Azeroth. But all I wanted to do was show you that Congratulations, we created an account. So let's go ahead and log out. Log out. Log out one more time. Sometimes a day. And we can just close that out. It's part of Herms. Just don't X out the vanilla server. Okay? Okay, see you in episode four.